Now, NDE Radio, a weekly exploration of near-death experiences and similar encounters with the other side. Now, here's your host, Lee Whitting. Welcome to NDE Radio with Lee Whitting. Whether you're listening on TalkZone, by podcast, through the archives of our ad-free shows on our YouTube channel, or connected through the incredible content of our Facebook page. On last week's show, we featured Dr. Rod Shelberg, a medical doctor who was gifted with insights and healing abilities that began with a childhood NDE. His memoirs have been published in a little book titled When God Calls, Say Yes, A Physician's Experience of Mystical Guidance. This book is a pearl filled with Dr. Rod's own meditations, and I thought listeners would enjoy stepping into his meditations as if they were their own. The following invitation comes from Dr. Rod's words in the book, as are the meditations themselves. So find a quiet place to listen and step into Rod's shoes. Imagine those eyes and me's to be you yourself. I hope you enjoy these meditations as much as I have in reading them. In his book, Dr. Rod writes, One day God spoke to me and asked me very clearly, Will you help me in healing the sonship? He wanted my help in extending his love back to those who were still dreaming of being separated from him. Please remember, though, that I am no guru, no prophet, nor saint. I am, in fact, nobody. God has a way to communicate with us when he uses intermediaries like me as a channel or a translator for him. There are thousands of intermediaries who have been helping in this process for thousands of years. When God speaks to me, it is the Holy Spirit's voice that I hear inside my head. I relay the message to whomever I'm speaking with. People hear my human voice and think that it is me who is speaking to them, but this is not so. Other times I write down what I hear, such as the short poems presented in this text. Therefore, I believe it is the function of God within me to help heal the world, bless mankind, and help those with illnesses, death, and lack in their lives. Thus, I am merely a translator or conduit for the extension of love's presence in this world on God's behalf and yours. I will describe three different experiences where his love extended through me. First, he asked me to help bless the world. For the second type of healing, God asked me to help him to help those who are stuck in what I call the etheric realm. The third type of healing occurs here in this world, where people ask me for help with a problem within their lives here. The first two healing meditations that I practice always start when I have merged with God for a while. We are joined in silent communication, just enjoying each other's company. I'm always blessed first. In these meditations, I experience profound love, joy, and peace. Then I usually feel, but sometimes hear, God's request for help in healing the world. God always asks me first if I will help him, and I always say yes. He has never taken me for granted nor barged into my thoughts. He is very respectful of me. As I open my heart, his grace flows through it, and covers the world in love. This is my most common healing meditation for the world. During my participation in blessing the world with God, my mind expands to infinity. With my pure spiritual vision, I see the earth as a large gray ball, and in the distant background, space appears as a soft off-white blanket. I do not see stars or other planets, nor any other colors, I've never seen the earth as the astronauts do with their human vision from outer space. I start to see a clear outline of my body, and within the area of my heart, there is a wide open channel. Moving through this channel, I see a milky white, sweet, thick, and creamy light flowing into all the cracks and crevices of this world. I can also sense this movement, and it is delicious to me. I cannot drink enough of this liquid love. It is so sweet and satisfying. 
I feel very honored and humbled to be a bearer of this white light of love, this liquid love that I also call grace. I never once told God where to send his light. That would be like telling water where to flow. I just observe the flow of this liquid love to where it is needed. I make it a point, however, to keep my mind as clean and as pure as I can. I do not want to contaminate this beautiful white light. I have learned to step aside with my thoughts and just let his love flow through me. As God's grace flows, his love and joy fill the earth, and then healing takes place within it. The earth changes from a light gray shade to a brilliant, pure white. In this state of mind, all I can hear is silence, and I see only radiant white light. I am truly the light of the world because all I see is his white light flowing through me. This cleansing process eventually will lead all of us to truth. It is the flow of God's grace that washes our world clean and helps us to wake up from the stream state. And I know that God's endless love will last forever. The stream state and this world will end. It's only a matter of time. In a different, more personal meditation, I see my astral body against the infinity of heaven. I start to repeat, I am the light of the world, while holding the earth and all people in the light of love. In this way, I bless the world for a while as the white light of peace encircles it. I start to see many people traveling, and they all stop for a moment to bask with me in this light. As they do, I see each person's aura change from a faint, light, gray hue, to the clearness of a flawless diamond. The world is free of insanity for a few seconds, as everyone pauses to receive God's love. During these times, I know that not a single death occurred on the planet. Sometimes during these meditations, when I look at my astral body, there is an intense white light that starts at the base of my spine, and it explodes about a foot above my head like fireworks. Then everyone is showered in this brilliant white light. Instead of being clear, they all become a vivid white entity as well. This is followed by a very powerful feeling of oneness and love for all. This is like a spiritual orgasm. It is very intense and beautiful. These are my two most common meditations that I experience. From them, I remember that we are all clear light beings, thoughts of love, and extensions of God himself. We are individualized Christ consciousness, and all we have to do is wake up. We are not these false, dark illusions that we identify with in this dream world. I'm glad that I can help others stop their imagining and wake up. I'm glad that for a moment they remember that they are still one with God. There is such tremendous joy for all when this occurs. One week I was troubled with feelings of deep anger and fear. I did not know why until I asked Christ why, and he responded, Our world has been covered over in these feelings, and it is crying for help. It is bleeding with pain and suffering. These were not your feelings, but those of the world. Hearing this, I decided to help Christ heal the world. So I went into deep meditation with the intention of healing the world. I saw our world as it is now, a sooty, dirty, gray globe. In the background was the white light of our spiritual realm. I went into my heart and opened it up to God's love. As I felt this love starting to flow, I watched this love cover and wash over our world. I started to see the vague faces of people in places where there was extra fear and pain. I saw those we consider murderers and those we consider victims. I saw their pain and washed them all with love. I also saw those left behind grieving for their loss of loved ones. I saw the global fear of people everywhere. I let love wash them all as well. Everyone's heart was touched with God's compassion and love. Everyone's innocence started to shine within them again, and they began to feel peace. Their darkness of fear and pain was being washed away by love. I saw the rips and tears in the fabric of this world and placed a few stitches here and there. Open wounds and barriers that seemed impossible to cross were closed. 
love could now flow freely around the world. As I continued to let love flow, the world started to change. The black ink of fear dripped off and vanished into nothingness. The world suddenly turned pure white and radiated love. It was beautiful to see. Peace had come again. The world was washed clean with God's love, and fear was replaced by love. For a while, peace reigned. Help me now as we continue the healing process for our world. When thoughts of anger or fear or hatred enter your mind, do not react to them, but instead let them flow through you. For under these emotions is a cry for love. Let God's love flow through you into your mind, your life, and into this world, and to those who need it so much. You are the light of the world. Be a miracle worker today and let your light shine. Help God shine away the darkness. Together we will light up the world and bring it peace. Following my blessing of the earth with God, my second meditation changes from time to time. I am in a different realm, a giant sphere of infinite dimensions. In the center of the sphere, there is clear space, and the background is like twilight in a starless sky. I call this the etheric realm. Sometimes I see a single long line of clear individuals that extend backwards as far as I can see. These people are on my left side, and I assume this to be the past. When I look towards my right side, I can see all the individuals who have yet to be born. This line represents the future, and it too extends into infinity. Altogether, I call this the timeline of life. I am in the middle of this timeline as if I look down, I see all the individuals who have journeyed with me in my present lifetime. There is a teardrop shape within this timeline that represents my life. We are all connected by a single strand of life. God's love flows from my heart through this strand to all those who are in the past and the future. Everyone changes from a clear aura to a light white aura. It happens in an instant. I know that they have been blessed, touched, and changed by God's love for them. Other times I see millions of people standing on an infinite plane in this etheric realm. Their auras are clear, and they're all looking toward me. I see the outline of Christ in the shape of a human being. He has a white aura and is always on my right side. We are standing on a slight elevation above all these people. I'm standing on top of the hills with my arms held down and opened outwards. I am bowing my head. In this spiritual dimension, I am again aware of my oneness with God. I allow God to extend his light through me as everyone looks to see this white light of love flowing from my heart. All of the people around me are washed clean in this light. We are all caressed by love and held ever so gently by God's touch. I am so humbled and honored to be able to do this work and give this gift of love. We are all so intensely blessed and so deeply loved by God. And once we remember this, our world becomes insignificant. A few individuals have accepted God's love in this instant, and in so doing, they have lightened up, letting go of their baggage from previous lives. They leave and return home to heaven above. Individuals who leave are like fireflies. They are bright for a moment, and then they are gone. All follow in the same path of ascending up and towards the right being guided home by God. I know that even those who choose to stay behind are still loved by God. I see their clear auras and the shape of people, yet they are not moving. They just seem to be silently standing in place, waiting for something to happen. For whatever reason, they are finding it difficult to let go and accept God's love for them. But Christ is still with them, allowing them time to rest, wake up, and remember who they are. This is a very gentle, slow, loving process. I know they will be healed and taken care of because of Christ's presence. They are never alone nor forsaken. I know that eventually in time all will wake up and become free because Christ is still there with them 
even as I leave. When someone asks me for healing, I meditate to become still, making no affirmations or denials. Thoughts about the problem that an individual has may come to mind, but I let them flow through and attach no significance to them. I call instead upon Christ and wait for the frame shift to occur. When it does, I know I am connected to a higher form of consciousness. It is God's presence that connects us and helps us all to remember that we are one in his love, and in that love we are perfect, whole, and healthy. To reiterate, I turn to Christ in true prayer, and I reconnect with him. I empty my mind of requests or thoughts of the individual or their problems. I then extend his love from my heart to those that need help. Now healing occurs for them as their consciousness is raised up or resurrected into Christ consciousness. By changing their perception of the problem, the blocks to love's presence are removed, and these individuals are reminded of their true self. Once they realize this, their problems automatically dissolve back into the nothingness from which they came, for God's light is shining in them now. In the physical world, this is seen as a demonstration of healing, but in truth, they become aware of their Christ consciousness, and that is all that really matters. I am merely a bridge for Christ so that he may act through me and help those that ask. I leave the outcome of the problem up to God. At other times, when I'm driving or walking around in public, I see the darkness of the ego coming towards me from different directions in many different forms. When I see this, I am able to bring the white light of love with me to shine away the darkness of the illusions of all these different egos. All deceptions simply fade away, and I see everyone's light. People smile at me in gratitude because suddenly they experience God's healing touch of love and feel his presence. I extend God's love now, and I am here only to be truly helpful. I feel such delight to be of service, deeply honored and humbled to be asked by God to help heal the sonship, no matter which dimension I find them in. I have learned to step aside and let his grace flow to everyone. I let problems or conditions go, for they are all simply illusions, no matter where they are or what form they take. As his love flows through me to others, I feel full, content, and joyful. I experience the movement of his grace through me. It is sweet and delicious. I notice a subtle, fast vibration occurring within my body, and it is extremely pleasurable. Through my spiritual vision, I see everyone washed clean. We are all as pure and innocent as a newborn babe. We are indeed the offspring of a loving father. For this is who we are in the light of truth. I invite you to step into my meditations as if you were me, because indeed you are me, just as I am you. As I relax into a deep meditation, my mind is quiet and my spirit is free. As I begin to float, I feel a gentle touch all around me. My spirit is lifted by God into his loving arms and I am held ever so gently. My body and this world have now faded into the nothingness from which they came. I am surrounded by the white light of peace, and I feel God's love for me. I feel safe and secure within his arms. I smile as I look upon God and offer him my love in return. As he holds me, he gently strokes my face with the lightness of a feather and whispers in my ears with the sigh of a baby's voice. I am soothed as he gently rocks me. He whispers, my child, know how much I love you. Know how much I love holding you in my arms. Such delight and pleasure are mine when I can touch you. I am complete and content. You bring me peace, and I quietly cry with the tears of joy because of the love that I feel for you. You are born of my love and therefore forever sinless and perfect in every way. You are holy, pure, and innocent. You are my loving child, and I am your loving father. Together we are eternally inseparable in our perfect love. Feel my love for you now as I gently hold you in my arms. 
Feel the warmth in my heart for you. Feel the pleasure that you give me. Hear the gratitude in my voice as I say to you, thank you, my holy child. Thank you for giving me your love in return. As I lay in God's arms, I am cradled in his love. I look into the eyes of love and am comforted. As God's tear touches my cheek, in that moment I am returned to my innocence and I remember who I truly am. We are both now melded as one in eternal love, both whole and complete. As I return to this world, I remember the feeling of being held in God's arms, the warmth of his love, and the security that I was safe. I am content in knowing that I am forever loved by God himself. I have surrendered to his grace, his love, and his peace. I know and trust that I will be taken care of by my Father. Now all of these feelings are flowing in my being and my life. I have returned to the oneness of my love with God. In thankful gratitude, I look up and smile. I am at peace. Following this melding together of my mind with God's, my heart area changed. I saw a tiny embryo there, surrounded by a white aura. Christ told me that this is the embryo of truth planted there in your heart by God. When you fall asleep and dreamed of being separated from him, nurture this child of innocence and help it to grow by keeping your human mind free of thoughts of judgment, grievance, and fear. Do not build blocks of love to love's presence. I will help you. Think as God thinks. I am love. I am truth. I am life. And I am a spiritual being, pure, holy, and eternal. In time, my heart's aura matured into a lotus flower with silvery white petals, and the flower became a beautiful red rose. And to this day, this is still what I see within my heart. Every time I meditate, I cross easily into the heart of God. We are lovers enjoying each other's companionship. When I am absorbed into God, my awareness is his awareness. I fully enjoy complete communion and oneness with him. I experience God's unconditional peace and absolute love as well because I am fully awake now. I remember who I am his son. I have also learned that God enjoys laughter, joy, and dancing. I know the gentle feeling of movement through this great sphere of light with God, feeling as if we are dancing across the heavens. In our wake, we leave behind a colored trail of stardust. How I love to dance with you, my holy child. You whom I created from the depth of my being are forever a part of me and forever loved by me. You are my life, my joy, and my happiness. In timeless eternity, we dance together to the symphonic song that we sing as one. Let the heavens be filled with our music. Let the heavens see our dance as lights, dappled, glittering lights, palisading across the sky, our beautiful brush strokes of blended love. In this dance, we are forever secure in our happiness and joy. We are both eternally filled with peace. We are both complete when we are entwined in this embrace, this graceful dance of love. After these mystical experiences, my daily life changed dramatically. One morning, I awoke in peace, and for the first time, the world looked different. I knew God and saw Him in everything. I've relaxed so much that no longer. Do I feel connected to this world? I no longer aspire to anything in this world, but rather I am now inspired by breathing God into my heart. I am no longer concerned about the world, for I feel loved by God at my deepest level. I live by grace, and I know I'll be taken care of, for I see myself as Christ consciousness or God consciousness, and this consciousness is seeking or attracting to itself all other things in the universe that I need to function. I only need to let go and trust. I trust Christ to be there, even when I cannot hear or see him. I trust him to do the right thing, even though I do not understand the events that I am dealing with. I have limited perception, and I have to be careful not to judge the event. If I do, I make the event real, and that 
and then get trapped by the ego's illusions with all the other people. I do not have all the information to make a correct judgment, so I am likely to make a wrong judgment all on my own. My job is simply to treat myself and others with compassion and love. I allow events to unfold, but also allow love to flow through me to the world. I forgive myself, you, and the world because I do not want to create a block to love's presence. People need to see the Christ in us so they do not get lost. There are a lot of things I do not understand, and that is okay. I just love. Now my daily life is continuously mystical. Things are neither good nor bad, they just are, and I can look through the forms of their illusion to the oneness of God behind them. I see two worlds, one with Christ's vision and one with my limited human vision. I have become an observer of the dramas of the everyday world and rarely have to react. Whenever an upset is coming my way, I'll allow it to flow off me or I step aside. I stay centered in peace and love. Peace has become more important to me than anything else, and all I truly desire is to stay awake and remember who I am. I now see God all around me, and everything looks clean. Peace has come, not with thunder and bright lights, but with a gentle touch on my shoulder and a whisper in my ear, you are loved. Such a wonder, such a blessing to know in my heart that I am loved by God and that I am innocent from any thoughts of sin or guilt about offending him. As I crossed into the deep solitude of my mind, I felt the gentle breeze of grace flowing across me. As I let this pass through me, all thoughts of my body, my life, and the world were washed away, and I was made clean, returned to my true self as a pure thought of love. I stood there as a radiant spirit of light, free again of my dream of separation. I was released. Then, in that moment, God reached out and embraced me. Our minds melded into the one, and I was filled with joy. I was embraced by the gentleness of love. I was again whole and complete, deeply satisfied with these feelings of profound love and peace for me. No words were spoken, only the feelings of enjoyment, of total love for me and my total love for God were expressed. There was no distinction between us, only the unity of oneness. I am free and I am complete in God's embrace. All I see is the white light of infinity and of love. All I feel is deep peace. To be connected to God on this deep level can only be expressed as awe. Love extended itself and created a sonship of love. And now that I remember who I am, I realize that I am part of that love, loving itself. This flow of love is so gentle and sweet, so healing and kind, it welcomes me back to itself without judgment. I am home now with my father, safe in his love. How long we float in this love, I cannot say, for time has no meaning in eternity. But part of me is still tied to this world, and so I come back. And each time I do, love comes with me to bless and heal all that I see. Now I am thinking of you, my friends, and I want to share with you this truth. There is a light in you that I see there in your heart. It is a pure white light of love connected to the divine, you are in truth as pure and holy as am I, an extension of God himself. He loves you with unconditional love, and he is there in your heart, ready to remind you of his love for you. Be still, look in your heart, and trust him to embrace you in his arms again. He will remind you of these truths that you are his holy child, forever pure and innocent, and forever loved by him. You can do all these things that I have done, for you too are a mystic in your heart. You too are the light of the world. You have merely covered your light with a body suit, a personality, and a life. You were taught by the ego to misidentify with this worldly reality and to believe that God is separate from you. 
But you can unlearn that false identity with desire, the help of Christ, and practice. Say yes when God calls, and you will find his love within your heart. In the meantime, here are God's words to you. Holy child of mine, feel my love for you there in your heart. Feel my loving touch and know how much I love you. You are my holy child, forever pure in your heart, innocent as a newborn child, pure as freshly fallen snow. How I love you, my holy child. I am filled with love and joy for you, forever pure in this love. You are a being of light. Look into your mind and see that this is so. This is my will for you. Let my peace descend upon you. Then let my love shine away the darkness of separation in your mind, and you will be sanctified. For this I extend my love and gratitude to you, because now I too am whole and complete again. So remember my love, and let my grace flow into your life. You are my holy child. Inseparable forever in this love we stand. I will bless you and keep you safe. You are a part of me and I of you. Enjoy and peace. Rest in my love. All is well. As I relax into the quiet infinity of heaven, my thoughts of this world fade from my mind, and I am free again to be with God. He comes as easily to me now as two friends who meet on the street. He cradles me with his gentle embrace, and we become one in love. How sweet and pleasurable is the feeling of love flowing through my mind and my heart. How pure is his love for me. How deep is the peace that he gives me. All I see is beauty, love, and kindness. Pure silence is all I hear. I am content to rest here and enjoy being loved by God. For a while my dreaming is gone, and I know I am home safe, warm, and at peace. There are no thoughts in my mind as I look at the infinity of heaven with God. I have lost myself in his love. I am as he is, pure and infinite love. We rest together for a while. How long I cannot say, for eternity has no time, only freedom. I bask in this union with God and enjoy the feelings of peace and love. As I see each of you in my mind, love flows between us, and we too become one. In your heart I see the white light of love glowing brightly, and I see you as you truly are, the child of love, the child of peace, the child of light. You are the Christ child, pure, clean, and innocent, the offspring of of a very loving parent. We are all united together in love with God. Born from his love, we celebrate our birth. His love has entered your life, and he has given you several gifts. These are the gifts of love, peace, and joy. Know that forever you are his holy child, and that you are eternally loved, never to be alone from him. And here ends the meditation. My thanks again to Dr. Rod Shelberg for sharing the stories of his NDEs and OBEs on last week's show and the wisdom he gained from his experiences on this one. Listeners can get Dr. Rod's book, When God Calls Say Yes, a physician's experience of mystical guidance on Amazon. If listeners would like to hear this show again or any of our archived ad-free NDE interviews, Go to Talk Zone's NDE Radio site and hit the Past Shows button, or go to our YouTube channel, NDE Radio with Lee Whitting, where you can subscribe to and comment on the complete NDE Radio library. And be sure to check out our NDE Radio Facebook page. Just search NDE Radio with Lee Whitting on your Facebook app. And listen next Monday, 11 a.m. Eastern at Talk Zone for more NDE Radio. I'm your host, Lee Whitting, saying... Thanks for listening.